been good. Brother Larry, I got happy and I told Brother Jerry it's just another witness to this little church. Amen. Visitors come and they feel the spirit of the Lord. Amen. You'll find love here. You'll find peace here. Amen. You are my friend. You are among the children of God. I believe it. I truly believe that. I got a friend that I grew up with, and he's real sick. He's been working with me, and can't get him to come to church burning. He said the other day he told me he told me about a month ago a dream he had. The other day he repeated it to me. He said the reason why I'm telling you again. He said it was so strong. He said. He and I was up all night, he said, laughing and singing. And I sent him a little message. And I said, Travis, if you find Christ, you will find happiness and joy. Amen. You'll have something to smile about. Amen, you'll definitely have something to sing about. There's joy in serving the Lord. Amen. There's peace that the world just don't understand. They just don't understand. And even as I was praying a sin, I did not understand how good it was until he came into my heart. Because I've never experienced it before. After I experienced it, then I'm back to these four born brothers. I know about it now. They are grand. 
Well, he poured the new wine right in me. I've got a new spirit about me that I didn't have before. The spirit of the Almighty of God. I'm glad today I'm not the same man that I used to be. I'm glad today I've been down up to the potter's house. Brother Jerry began to say, oh, 40 some years, he said, uh, there's no way I, I couldn't have kept myself. Uh, well, it brought me uh, to a scripture uh, uh, that, I, uh, that I was listening uh, to, uh, and I heard, uh, uh, and it was John, uh, and John was out uh, on an island, uh, uh, and, and on this island, he said, uh, uh, he was in the spirit. Lord, uh, I love uh, to be in the spirit of the Lord uh, on the Lord's day. Yes, Lord, uh, this morning about three o'clock, uh, I woke from my sleep uh, and I uh, begin to read in the Bible here. Uh, John, uh, he was on that island uh, and he heard a voice uh, while he and he said, John, do you write what I'm going to show you? This will link up with what you said and what the jury said. He said he saw something. He saw the seven golden candlesticks. Yeah. And that was the seven churches. Yeah. Oh, there was one. Uh, in the midst of those seven uh, golden candlesticks. Uh, and he is our Lord, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you can read it. Uh, John said his head, his hair was white, uh, like wool. His eyes were sounds, uh, the flame of fire. In his hand, he uh, held uh, a seven stone. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, he spoke of those churches. Uh, that's why uh, you can say, uh, you see, we're part of those. Uh, we're part of that church on that Sunday uh, uh, today. And if you're part of that church, uh, I claim tonight uh, you're in the palm of his hand. Uh, no matter where you go, no matter where you're at, uh, you're in the Savior's palm. Uh, he wrote my name in the palm. That's why Brother Jerry began to say, oh, I'm not holding him. He's holding me. He's got us right here. Brother Larry, uh, he's got us right here in the palm of his hand. And he said, uh, uh, he looked at him and he said, I am Alpha, I am Omega, I am the first, and I am the last. And unto the seven churches uh, he looked, uh, and I turned to see the voice uh, that spoke to me. And I, I'm glad, but when he spoke to me, I felt it was the last time when he spoke to me. I felt that his feet is dead. But behold, Jesus Christ, my Lord, my God, my Redeemer, he touched me. I know he touched me. How do you know? I was there. I felt him. I know he called my name. How do you know? I didn't, I didn't want any worthy, Brother BJ, for him to even call my name. But I cried out to him, and he heard me. He heard my cries. And I'm telling you tonight, if you'll hear my cry, he'll hear your cry. He is a deliverer. He is a rewarder, and a special rewarder to the believer. And so many today, that's what Brother Randy was preaching. Uh, do you believe? Yes. Uh, and Brother Jerry said, uh, down there in Cornelius' house, uh, of everybody, 
Uh, he said, wouldn't that something? Uh, have you ever read it, men and women? Uh, that man, uh, Peter, went into that house. Uh, the house was full. Uh, all that man's family was there. Uh, all his friends was there burning. Uh, uh, they probably, probably couldn't get a seat. Uh, uh, they was probably standing around the walls. Uh, uh, they wanted to hear this man, uh, what he had to say. Uh, uh, it wasn't about the man. Uh, you know, he tried to bow down to him. Uh, and you know what he said? I'm just a man. So you stand up. I want to tell you about who sent me. I want to tell men and women about who sent me. Jesus Christ, he has called me to this place. And to tell men and women, you've got to repent. You've got to be born again. And if you do, you'll have life and life abundantly and everlasting. But this house was so full. Down there, Brother Jerry was preaching about. They listened to this man, and everybody in the house, everybody in the house, went out and was baptized yes. in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And here we are, over 2,000 years later, and if we're telling you, if you believe, uh, you uh, will take you out and we will baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, but you must believe that I am He, or you'll die in your sins. Uh, that's what the Bible says anyway. So you must believe. Amen. You must believe. Do you believe tonight? But the Kelly Sloan says a little saying, and he says it aggravates some, and I get tickled every time he says it. He says, Do you all want to go to heaven? Yeah. You hear him say that, don't you? Yeah. You see, everybody wants to go to heaven. Amen. Amen. You see, if you've got the love of God down in your heart, you want everybody to go to heaven. Amen. Amen. You want all your family, all your friends. But you see, for us to stand here, for us to stand where we stand, if we truly love you, we have to tell you the truth. Anyway, just won't do. Anyway, just ain't all right. You know sometimes that even churches can get in seeming right ways. Seems okay. Let's just do it. But you see, if God is not first, if Jesus Christ isn't our leader, you see those, those 12 apostles, they are the foundation in Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. Yeah. They're what we're built upon. This book is what we're built upon. Yeah. And if we can't stand on this book, we're in trouble. Oh, this God. is the Father's instruction, oh, men and women. There's one thing that He wants us to do. Love one another. Be good to one another. Yeah, Sister Joanne, the wildest one we meet out there. We need to put our arm around them and say, God loves you. Jesus died for you. He wants you to come. He wants you to come. You talk about joy when you come. I found joy in Jesus. I found peace that I just can't hardly explain to men and women how good it is to feel and to know, as Brother Randy said, that you're on the King's Highway, that you're part of the greatest army that's ever been. I hear them saying all over the news that how we're leaving some behind over there and how the greatest army that we've assembled on earth, the greatest army they said, and here we are, leaving some of our soldiers behind over there. I know a captain that won't leave nobody out. He wants everybody to come to him. I know a captain with his arms stretched out and died for you. I know a captain that tell he, the victory's already been proclaimed in him. All he wants us soldiers that enlisted to do is march on. March on just a little farther. Just a little farther. But let's be like. Those that marched around the, uh, the city, 
Let's Very just be dumb. real quiet. Let's be slow to speak sometimes. Uh, uh, there's sometimes I don't want to talk. Uh, but you know what? Uh, but I'm just waiting on the sound to come. Uh, and when the sound comes, uh, oh, I, I hear him saying, uh, get down by the seashore. Uh, blow your trumpet. Uh, when that trumpet sounds, uh, you talk about the walls of this world uh, uh, coming down. You talk about gaining the land uh, up here to life. Uh, heaven yes, is here. Uh, uh, Brother Jeremiah. And, uh, and yeah, I, I love uh, Brother Jeremiah when he says, uh, I took off my hearing aid. I, I wanted to hear his voice. I, 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 I wanted to know it was him uh, talking to me. Uh, uh, little sissy, I uh, uh, can't hear nothing in this world. Uh, but oh, she hears from father. Uh, and she hears from home. Uh, and where tonight uh, I heard his voice. Yes, it speaks to the heart. Does it, Brother Clarence? It speaks to the heart of men and women. And when it speaks to you, you will be just like the rider. You'll tremble. You'll tremble. Oh, it's you. It's you. I'm not worthy to be in your presence. I'm not worthy to be in your presence. No wonder those old, uh, bold soldiers here, uh, when they come around, when they heard his voice, uh, they took off their shoes. Uh, they was in a holy place. Uh, oh, I love to get in a holy place. Uh, this morning, about 3 a.m., uh, I was feeling pretty good. Uh, I felt like uh, I even said it. Uh, I said, Lord, if you have me in front of a group of people, uh, God, you give me so many scriptures on my mind. Uh, I believe I can. I could share your word. Uh, uh, he, just, uh, uh, he just wrapped me up in his love and his arms. Uh, that's the way he is. Uh, and he'll wrap you up too if you want him. I wanted him so bad uh, that night. Uh, I said, I didn't want to get off my knees. I wanted him to take me from this world uh, if he wasn't going to save me. Uh, I didn't want to be a hindrance uh, to my son, to my wife. Uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to bother him about me. Uh, Lord, just take my life. I didn't know he didn't take it. He didn't want my life. He wanted to give me life. And he gave me peace that I just can hardly explain. Can you hardly explain. I love it, though. You talk about a life. Man, there's joy in peace to wake up at night and to feel him all about you. To feel him his hand under your head. To hear him whisper in your ear, open the book, open the book, read in Revelation. Oh, come and see, come and see. Oh, I wish the world would come and see, yeah. come and see. There's a throne up there, there's a throne, and it's got a rainbow around it. It's got a rainbow. There's four, there's four and twenty elders. Around that throne. There's, there's angels all about that sea. A singing, a singing, a singing. Peace, the peace, peace, peace. The peace is coming to this world. Peace came to my heart. Peace has come to your heart. Peace like you've never known. There's joy in serving the Lord. It's just so hard to explain sometimes. So hard to explain how good he is. So many things was coming to my mind this morning. And I thought, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this and I'll bring my remarks to a close. This morning I was thinking about even what Brother Jerry said. When he said about Adam and him being dead. And I was thinking over in Ezekiel when he carried him out. And he looked through the valley. And the valley was full of dry bones. Shall we live again? Prophesy. Prophesy. What happened first when he prophesied? Did not the earth begin to shake? Oh, did not the earth begin to shake? This earth is going to shake one day, men and women. I'm telling you, every bone will come to its own bone. Every bone shall come to its own bone. Amen. 
I'm just telling you, sin, you will come up on yes, sir. this man. I believe, I believe this man here is going to change. enjoy a heaven. I believe he's going to be changed, but it's the same it. It's right. what the Bible said. Just like then he carried Ezekiel out, and he seen that valley with dry bones, and the sinew came over him. And all at once he said, prophesy. Yeah. And they stood up, didn't they? I'm looking for a day coming when Valerie, when I'll see that, I stand up. Uh, you yeah. talk about, oh, is that wind blowing? It's the breath of life. Uh, it's his sweet breath for the journey that you preached on so wonderful. Uh, that, blow, that wind's going to blow through the valley here. And every bone is going to come. A sinew, a blight is going to come to this man. And he's going to get up. You talk about a great army in, all dressed up. Are you going to have a, 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 your, your fatigues on? Are you going to have that? No, no. I'm going to have a long white robe. Just like my forest father. I'm going to be dressed adorn like the sun. Where you go? Home, going home. Yeah, I believe, I believe I have the wedding garment on this man then. He's on this inside now. And I believe that he's going to be dressed and ready. I believe I'm part of those seven churches that he was holding in his hand. I believe, I believe I'm part of the Father. I believe I'm far part through his son. I got to know him through the son. So many things come to my mind. This army stood up in this valley. They stood up a great army. We're a great army. And one day he's going to call us all together. Are you a believer? Are you a true believer? If you believe, then you'll do my will. You'll do my commandments. It's not a seeming right way. It's a holy way. It's a holy way. An old past, yeah. Our Father, He's not the author of confusion. We are, though. We get confused sometimes. We get confused sometimes. Men and women, you're a lot. He went on to say, He was talking about the city. And He's seen this city coming down. And what is it about the city to the world? Jesus. What is it about? I went to New York one time and I got there about 2 a.m. And I come up over a mountain and the lights of that city was so bright and it was so big it was overwhelming. This city here is a light to it that the world it will come together and show love. The world can see. They know the difference in a child of God and someone that's in a seeming right way. I don't want you to be in that way. I don't want you to be in that way. I don't want you to go to heaven. It's real. It's not a fairy tale. It's real. And real men and women is going to heaven. Real men and women is going there. Through and by Jesus Christ. So today, if I'm the closer, yeah, we don't want you to <laughs> Church door is open. Receive members by experience of baptism. <laughs> 